play? I play. I, I started playing when I was in second grade, I think. I've been playing for a lot of years. I, I play ukulele. Do you? Good. Great. Do you do? Can I try playing it? I don't think we have time. We've got a lot to do this morning. Yes? I have a ukulele. Well, start playing it because I've had a really good time with this for a whole lot of years. And I play with my sister. She doesn't live here, but we, we have a great time together. It is Earth Day, and that's a perfect time to talk about my new book, which is Cricket in the Thicket. Have you had a chance to read this? No. Well, it's all about bugs, all kinds of bugs. And before this morning's over, I hope that you will decide which is your favorite bug. I'm not going to ask you right now. But maybe you'll have a chance to look at some of these bugs and decide on your favorite. Do you know what poetry is? Yeah. Okay. Do you like poetry? Yeah. Do you memorize little poems sometimes? Yeah. yeah. And you can find poetry in a lot of different places. You can find it on cards or songs or poetry. In fact, poetry started out being songs. Uh, that was before they had printing presses. It's been around for a long, long time. And there are lots of things you can do with poetry. So I have poetry in this book, but I also have a lot of really cool facts about bugs. So the idea is that you can have some fun and also learn something at the same time. My favorite bug is, is what you think, the lady. I got this at the Dillon Nature Center. It's a great place to go. You can learn a lot and you can get inspired by all the things that you see out there. The interesting thing about this visual aid of mine is that I put my five fingers in here and there's an extra finger. Instead of five, there's six. Would you happen to know why? Let's see. Someone who hasn't said it. You back there with the glasses. Oh, it's an insect, and insects, all, all, all insects have like six legs. You're so right. It has six legs because it's an insect. So this book has insects with six legs. It has spiders. How many legs do they have? Eight. Eight, Eight. right. And it also has crustaceans. Have you ever played with roly-poly bugs? Yeah. Okay, they're no. crustaceans, and so they have seven pairs of legs. So how many legs would that be? Fourteen. You're right. Fourteen legs. Okay. We are going to start with the book. There's the covers. Some of the students here at this school, the Millers, did some of the singing and are also reading some of the poems. That makes it sort of special to be at this school for all of us. So here we go. Breaking news from the Cricket News Network. Now, reporting live from Timmy's bedroom is Chris Cricket. Did you hear that? What was that? It must be a cricket in the thicket. Well, I think the sounds are coming from this book. You're so right. And it goes from morning till night. From chirps of crickets to flashes of fireflies. Listen. Crickets of lawn. Cricket in the thicket. Cricket. Cricket in the house. Cricket. Cricket in the bedroom, not as quiet as a mouse. Cricket. Cricket in the closet, in a pocket, or a shoe. Cricket. 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 Where, Where are, are you? We made a little song out of this. There, as I said before, there's a big relationship between poems and songs. So we have a little song. Yay. I'm going to play my ukulele and sing this little song. and then. But I need some help from you. I need some people. In fact, all of you can do this. You can be crickets. We'll just start by your saying, Cricket, 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 cricket,
cricket in the bedroom, not as quiet as a mouse. Cricket in the closet, in a pocket or a shoe. Cricket, 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 way. Are you? Can you hear the cricket on that too? Making that funny noise? The reason I used cricket was because it sounds like the sound a cricket makes. That's called onomatopoeia. You use it in poetry when a word has the sound of the actual thing. So the sound of cricket makes is cricket, cricket, cricket. And that's what the word sounds like. Our next one is the jumping spider. Oh, no. Yeah. He's a scary looking creature. And we do have this one red. Just jumping spider. The jumping spider has a handy dandy way to travel. He spins and winds a silky thread and lets it all unravel. He keeps his string inside until he finds he's moving slow. Then he'll unlatch his trusty hatch and down the road he'll go. You'll see that in the pictures and also in the words, you can learn a lot about spiders. Like he has five eyes. You see his five eyes? <laughs> They're really small spiders. That looks a little scary. <laughs> Do you like that picture? Yes. yes. Love it? Love that picture? Yeah. Okay. I'm finding that out about kids. I thought you might think it was too scary looking. But I think it's becoming our favorite. Okay. Now we have a, we can tell you a lot about the monarch butterfly here. A very interesting about the monarch. So we'll start with the larvae. No way for yeah. monarch. I'm very, very smart and rather lucky, I would say. My diet is a milkweed plant. I eat it every day. Most usually I'm hidden when attackers choose to dine, and birds don't like my milkweed taste. How very, very fine. Did you know that the butterfly life cycle has four stages? Really? They are egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Monarch butterflies migrate to warm climates in the winter and return in spring. Monarch and friends. The monarch likes to travel in the company of others. To Mexico she drifts and glides with moms and dads and brothers. So this is the caterpillar or the larvae of the monarch and they only eat milkweed plants. That's all they eat all the time. That would be kind of boring, wouldn't it? But the good thing about that is that it makes them taste bad for birds. Actually, it makes them poisonous to birds, and so birds leave them alone. They are able to live and turn into these beautiful monarch butterflies. The monarchs fly in the wintertime all the way to Mexico. Do you like monarchs? Have you all seen them? Yeah. Yeah, they're beautiful butterflies. They come back to the same places a lot. Be on the lookout for monarchs. I think they're considered our most, most favorite butterfly. Okay, this is a mosquito, mosquito bites. Mosquito bites? Oh no, it's mosquito. Oh drat, she is back. She's ready and eager to make an attack. With family and friends she hangs out in a ditch. Her probing proboscis produces an itch that comes from the bump that will follow the bite, with itching and scratching from morning till night. You all know about mosquitoes, especially in the summer, right? Yeah. But the good news is that this beautiful little damselfly called jewel wings eats mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hero. <laughs> Let's all do this one together. I feast on mosquitoes. I eat them, I do. I feed on mosquitoes, and they feed on you. <laughs> Firefly finale. We glitter and glimmer and put on a show in honor of Earth. Come and share in our glow. 
Okay, so this is a sing-along. It's the Firefly song. Mm -hmm. we, we glitter and glimmer and put on a show. In honor of birth, come and share in our glow. We glitter and glimmer and put on a show. In honor of birth, let's glow. Come out in the evening and shine your bright light. Reflecting the joy of a soft summer night. Come out in the evening, your time is just right For sharing the joy of the night Walk easy, walk easy, walk steady and strong Remembering the words of the firefly song We glitter and glamour and put on a show In honor of earth, come and share in our glow we glitter and glamour and put on a show In honor of Earth, let's go